people. I was getting ready to ask you to go a little deeper in, into that because I know a lot of people will be like, well, what's an ILF? Like, what's Shay, the difference? And, and ILF. And, and ILF, again, guys, is that environment where adults can live and thrive without the need for staff and or medical oversight. But Shay, it's not just us renting rooms to people. Right. Mm -hmm. There's structure here. Most of my clients, Shay, as well as yours, they're all under case management. That means yeah. somebody's following their treatment and it's not following us. their life. Right. I'm not the social worker anymore on this side of it. Guys, I house people now. So I'm not trying to social work these people. They have a social worker. I'm not trying to case manage them. They have a case manager. I'm not trying to be the psychiatrist. They have a psychiatrist. Right. My job is to provide a roof over their head, Shay. But what they don't understand, Shay, most people have no clue that we have rules. In fact, it's on page mm. six. They highlighted one through 10. And the gist of them are kind of like this. Pay your rent on time all the time. Take your medications each and every day to keep sane and mentally stable. Right. Don't destroy property. No outside company. That means your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or the guy you grew up in high school with, he's not welcome inside of my ILF. No drugs, no alcohol, Shay. Because if we can ensure the no drugs, no alcohol, take your medications every day, no violence, no destruction of property, it's going to be a pretty good program. I love this. Guy. And Shay, if we just rent rooms to people with no rules and structure, this thing going to turn into a circus. Correct. And Shay, I'll admit, that's what my program was day one when I started many years ago. Yeah. Because Shay, as you know, nobody taught this to me. I had no clue what I was doing. Mm -hmm. God just showed me somebody that was doing this the wrong way, housing people in rats and roaches at 41 grand a month. Can y'all imagine? Guys, I was making $28,000 a year. So I nearly fainted when I saw her pull out her phone and say, Derek, look what I make doing this. And she scrolled and scrolled and scrolled. $41,000 every 30 days, y'all, and was proud of it, but was housing people in roaches and in rats, and the beds were 